Bilal Muslim Mission of Tanzania is a charitable and non-profitable organization involved nationally in the propagation of the Shia faith of Islam and offers services in the field of education, medical care, humanitarian assistance and economic empowerment. Usually, when a person is hungry, they may struggle to think of praying to God or doing any religious activities as he or she would invest his or her time in looking for food and support for the family. For this reason, Bilal has come up with a plan aimed at raising believers' economic status and poverty elevation. Under this plan, Bilal is implementing two major projects. First is the Animal Rearing Scheme where instead of giving sadka of slaughtered goats, we will give three to five live goats or a calf to be raised as a loan. In a year or two, it is then given to another person. The second project is the microfinance loan, where a certain amount of money is given to believers, especially women, and after a certain period of time, it is returned and given to another person. Here is Al-Hajj Hussein Karim, Chairman for the Bilal Muslim Mission of Tanzania. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillah rabbil alamin. Wa salatu wa salamu ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa alihi tahirin. Last year we received some funds from Africa Federation and World Federation for helping in microfinance. This project has taken off last year. Alhamdulillah we have almost 98% uh, uh, repayments in microfinance. And uh, now we are conducting uh, impact assessment. How have these... Uh, uh, microfinance uh, uh, loans help the, the villagers. Alhamdulillah from the reports that you are getting which you are also going to hear you will see that uh, many ladies have, uh, are, are moving away from the poverty not only are they supporting uh, projects but they are also uh, donating for the most projects. I wish to take this opportunity to all the staff at Bilal, to all the donors, Africa Federation, World Federation uh, and other donors for assisting this project. Thank you, all of you. Thank you very much. My colleague, brother Rajabu Ngwame, has conducted an interview with Husna Mwita, who is the chairperson of Women's Committee at the Tabata Center, who is also a beneficiary of the microfinance loan project. <laughs> ambapo fedha zinatolewa kwa ajili ya umi kufanya biashara mbalimbali bila shaka kwenye kituo chako tabata pia nyinyi ni wanufaika e, msaada huu unawasaidia vipi yeah. yani hizi pesa kifupi zinatusaidia siku na changamoto nyingi kama wa mama kwa msikio bila wa tabata na tuliomba mkofu kwa mtandao tu Tuo <laughs> kutusaidia kama sisi umini ndani ya msikitu yetu. Yani tumetengeza kama mbufu na biyashara ya kwa moja. Okay. Kwa hiyo kupitia kile kikundi na wezo kana msikitini tumepungukua na, na kifa flani. Basi kundi hili kwa wakati huu na bilo nunui chikifa. Badala mwanzoni tuliko tunandika kupeleka milani. Uh, umezungumza kwa mba msaada huwa fedha umewasaidia kiuchumi. Mm. Vipi na maswala ya sasa ya kitabligh bado yanafanyika maana yake mtu mwingine akishapata hela pengine atajiendeleza zaidi katika biashara atasahau ha, 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 hata ile malengo ya ya, ya huo msaada wenyewe wa fedha hali ya tabligh ikoje kwenye kituo tunashukuru kwa sababu tunao wengi tuko kwenye jamii ya pamoja yani tuko majirani sawa na lingine tunachoshukuru Tuna uthamini na tunapenda msikitu yetu. Ndipe yetu tunalipenda. Na tuko kidini zaidi, kiimani zaidi kuliko kitu kingine. 
baada ya mkopo kupata na changamoto zetu kwa sababu nilikwambia awali biashara ilikuwa kitulitengenezea makundi vikundi kwa hiyo ndani ya vikundi sio kwa chukumu ile ndani ya msikiti kwa hiyo masuala ya madrasa ibada nini imani iko pa pale pale na biashara ziko nje ya pale kwa sababu kibaya au kizuri zaidi hatukutengeneza biashara ambayo inaingia ndani ya msikiti wetu ni nje ya msikiti wetu sasa una wito gani kwa waume wengine sio tu kwa katika eneo lako Tabata lakini katika maeneo mengine ya Tanzania wengine hafahamu umuhimu wa ajili ni nini anajiona kama mpagani mm-hmm. lakini unapoka naye unakuwa mtu mwana tu unapoteza muda huo kwani tuseme madrasa ukasoma pale bas kama wili tu sasa tutaingia madrasa saa kumi saa kumi na mbili tumetoka kwa nini tusiende huu muda wa kupoteza pa nyumbani kwani tuseme kupotezea kule okay. tayari mtu anaaminika Ukaenda kule ndani ndio unakutana na vitu hivyo viko ndani. Unaweza kuhitaji kitu changu utakipataje wakati wewe uko nje mimi niko ndani? Ingia na wewe ndani ili uone kile ninachojipata mimi na wewe tutakupa faida yake. Na pingine katika neno la mwisho sasa. Mm. Iu msaada wa fedha kuna watu wanatoa hizi hela. Mm-hmm. Na wao wanaamini kwamba walengwa wanafikiwa na wewe leo unatuthibitishia kwamba wapo watu ambao wamenufaika na hizo pesa. Mm. Una neno gani? kwa kwa wafadhili. So Bilal tumeona Kibilal pingine ni ni mtu wakati kuna watu ambao wanatoa fedha zao kwa ajili ya watu kama kama nyinyi kwenye vituo huko. Una neno gani haswa kwao? Yaani mimi kwanza kushukuru. Kusema kwamba asante alhamdulillah kwa hichi hichi nilichokipata lakini bado tunahitaji msaada wao zaidi wa ali na mali. Kuzidi kutuwezesha kutusongeza kule tunapokuhitaji. Na wao pia Mwenyezi Mungu awape afya njema, awape uzima, awape yani baraka zote na wazidi kukaa jopo yao kujua kwamba kuna watu waitaji. Ambao ni kama sisi, watufikie kwa kutufikishia hii misaada. Pia kwa kuongeza bilali. Kwa sababu kama kuna mtu wa kwanza afya akaja kwa wakati bilali na kutufikia sisi, basi pia tunawashukuru bilali. Tunazidi kuomba tuwatie nguvu wa pia fenje mabongozi wetu waziri kutembelea kwa sababu sio kama unasema tabata kuna maeneo mengi sekta nyingi mikoa mingi mm. kwa hiyo bilali bilali ina vituo eh ina vituo Mwanza ndio maana vituo Arusha tulisema Pemba ndio iko hivyo ehe kwa hiyo tunachowaomba waziri kuongeza msukumo waziri kupanua uigo na waziri kutusaidia si pesa waangalie na kingine pia kama kipo ambacho anajua hichi kitawasaidia waumini wetu hmm. kuwapa support kwa kitu kwa aina yoyote watupe support shukrani sana asante bilal would like to take this opportunity to thank you all for your continuous moral support and generous donations everything we do will not be made possible without your support and we thank you again